I'm embarrassingly afraid of clowns, even at my age. Um, it's funny because I started out liking clowns when I was a kid. I even had like pictures hanging on my wall when I was a kid in the crib. I had pictures of like posing with a clown. They make me uncomfortable, especially the ones that, that look pretty scary and get all up in your face. And I think they're hilarious. Just like follow you and they just creep you out, like give you the chills. First started not liking clowns when my family took me to Seaside to that all clown festival when I was a kid and they were all over the boardwalk. Get the honey. There's rules. I can speak personally and say that I just I just think it's the creep factor, like the whole mask. Like you don't know what's hiding behind that. Back out. Freaky. Very strange. One um, night I had a dream about a clown when I was somewhere dark and he just popped up at me and started doing weird actions and started just like disappearing then coming back. It was weird. For kids it's still it's different because with kids it's mostly like you know they're invited to parties and you get to meet them face to face and they don't really have that much of a factor when you're that young. But I think uh, growing up you kind of start to see behind the whole idea of a clown and the fact that it's always like these upper to middle aged men dressing up in crazy costumes. I hate when I get four on my thumb. Isn't that terrible? Oh. And that's what I say. Worker be worker be give me some honey. Worker be worker be I got no money. Worker be worker be I know it's for free. Worker be worker be give it to me. That's around her finger. And it's still around her finger. Okay, that's around her finger. Say the magic word. Abracadabra. Yes. I think it's probably because of that old wise tale that clowns are killers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that at times, maybe when they're younger, if they have a bad experience, it's just something that I'll carry over with them to when they become adults. And that could just be something that lingers on. If they don't do anything to overcome it, then you know, there's no point of it. It's probably not going to go away. It's going to stick with them. I mean, I know they're there to put smiles on kids, but to me personally, one time I was at a sleepover with my friends and we watched the movie It and then she like freaked out and she had nightmares. <laughs> the movie It came out, I went on to a uh, sleepover when I was like in cheerleading camp and we watched it one night and it freaked me out. Here I am, Wheezy. Hey, you're gonna like it down here. In the movie It, I thought that clown was kind of creepy. I remember watching that for the first time thinking I wouldn't want to see that clown. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. <laughs> I think the media probably does have a part in it because they portrayed it as either being the, the best clown or to be your best friend or this thing's going to stab you in the face while you're sleeping and then try and torture you.
definitely scares children and me. <laughs> My hair is naturally straight, so I had to buy naturally curly wig. I think if they're willing to get exposed to them, probably like any phobia that exists out there with enough exposure and understanding of your fear of why uh, then probably yes but I don't think I would want to put myself through that torture um, somebody mentioned to me once that you could dress up like a clown and then you wouldn't be afraid of them anymore but I've never taken their advice <laughs> Personally, if I had to get over fear of a clown, I'd probably make the head of a clown into a punching bag and just beat it until I was over my fear of it. I think everyone would have their own way of dealing with things. Some people may need to have a face-to-face -face encounter with one. Someone might just let it go and hope it goes away. Some people just might deal with it and be like, all right, I don't have to deal with a clown, so why do I have to be afraid of it? Some people just have had bad experiences as a kid in person with clowns, but for me it was just the psychological thought of the clown. Ha, ha, ha.